guys, this is the third installment in the uh, half pipe trailer build. Uh, today we're going to have a look at the electronics and uh, for change I'm going to use a PIC microcontroller instead of the Arduino. So, so far you've seen me using these uh, small Arduino. Um, it's based on an Atmega chip. So today we're going to use a PIC. Uh, and the only reason for that is because I have plenty of these lying about and if you can see there this one has actually got a broken pin but uh, for the trailer uh, I don't need all the pins on this so I'm going to use up some of my old uh, picks that uh, they've been damaged from coming in and out of IC sockets so if you look at this board here this is a this is a development board that I made and this IC socket here you push the pick in in here to um, to program it and to test your programs and sometimes they get damaged when the, uh, you take them back out in case you know, they get damaged if you if, if you accidentally bend the pins too many times and they break off so to use that up I'm just gonna use it on this uh, this trailer here and um, I'm gonna add lights and control of the motor so we're gonna have um, so we're gonna have indicators and brake lights and control of the motor with this chip the main difference between using a pick and an Arduino is that you actually have to program the pick it doesn't come with a bootloader on it so to do that I'm gonna use a K150 programmer that I got from eBay it's a pretty cheap and pretty basic programmer but it works pretty well for these uh, 18 pin and the other 12 pin picks they're the smaller ones and probably the most useful for these uh, accessories so basically all you do is you load up the or well you, I write the program in uh, assembly so I get my assembly program I uh, use a compiler to change that to hexadecimal and then I get the software for this programmer it tells me which pins to put the chip into and then I just um, and then I just program it so that's how I've uploaded the program to this uh, chip and if you want that program there will be a blog post associated with this uh, this video uh, you'll see the link in the description and uh, the code code for this chip will be in that link so with the John Deere build that I've been doing, I have made a kind of standard commands. So I think 01 is always drive from now on, as 02 is going to be always steering. So with the trailer, I'm going to do a similar thing. Uh, whatever commands I use for this trailer, in the code for this trailer, I'm going to repeat those for any future accessories. So the command I use in this trailer for the indicators is going to be the command I use for indicators in all my accessories from now on and uh, in that way we should keep them all in a standard configuration there shouldn't be any any changes between uh, between different accessories and so they'll all work with every tractor that uses my generic tractor code now i haven't added the code uh, to control accessories into the generic code that i uploaded to the john deere but i will be doing that shortly and i might do a video uh, detailing the, the updates to the code that i've made Okay, so now we have our circuit set up. We have our pick here in the middle. Uh, over here we have our motor controller driver. So uh, that's going to control the little uh, little screw mechanism that we've built. Uh, we have our brake LEDs here, little red LEDs for our brake lights. We have orange LEDs for our left and our right indicators. And we have resistors associated with those LEDs keep the current under 20 milliamps so I, I also have this uh, uh, development board here but I'm only using it uh, to connect our serial uh, our USB to serial interface uh, to our pick so th none of the circuitry on this is being used it's just being used to connect the pick okay so in the top right corner you should see the serial interface uh, the commands that I type in so I've connected the battery now so let's start with 01 that gives us one of our indicators and 04 turns the indicators off 
0 02 gives us our other indicator. 0 04 turns the indicator off. 0 03 gives us the two indicators at the same time. 0 04 to turn it off. Now, if you're wondering why I have it set up so that uh, the indicator comes on fully and it doesn't turn off or it doesn't blink, that's because the tractor is going to do the timing. That way the lights on the trailer are going to be exactly the same as the lights on the tractor. If I was trying to uh, run a timer on this chip, they would probably get out of sync with the tractor. So that's not what we want. We want them to be exactly the same as the tractor. So the tractor is going to send the command to turn on the lights. And the lights are just going to come on fully until the tractor sends the command to turn off the lights. So in that way we'll keep them exactly the same as the, as the tractor. So we also have our brake lights. So if it's 0 05, that's our tail lights, they're not on fully. 0 06, our lights get a little bit brighter. That's uh, that's our brake lights now. So 0 05 is the tail lights, and 0 06 is the brake lights. You see, they get slightly brighter for the brake lights. And 0 07 turns off our brake lights. So now we want to test out our screw mechanism. So 08 puts the screw mechanism up. 09 puts the screw mechanism down. And 0A stops the mechanism. So those are the controls that we're going to send from our tractor to our trailer to control it. So now I've created a little uh, a little light bar on the back here. So we have our indicators, our brake lights, brake lights, indicators, and that's just going to fit up to the side of the, or to the end of the trailer, like this. I'm just going to glue down in place because I shouldn't need to take that off again, it should be fine, there's nothing in it. So, you might be wondering why I have three connections here, well that is because there's a tow bar here. So we need to continue our uh, our control to the trailer behind this trailer. So for that we need uh, a ground, a positive and another signal wire, just the same as our tractor. So what's going to happen is we send the signal to turn on the indicators to the chip on the trailer. The trailer turns its lights on and then it sends the signal to the following trailer. And in that way we're able to control all the trailers at once. So here we have the finished trailer. I put the uh, the pick and the motor controller onto this little board here. Screwed it in place. I used that to hold the battery in place. So the battery is going to be permanently in this trailer from now on. And I'll be able to charge it from... I have a switch here so when the switch is in the off position I can just connect the charger to the connection that would usually go into the tractor. And in that way I can recharge the batteries. So the pick controls the motor driver which drives the screw motor and it also lights the lights on the back here. So if we plug it in we can send a few of the commands and test it out. So there's our connections, let's have a look at the lights first. Both indicators for our hazard. We have our tail light. Slightly brighter for our brake light. And then the last thing is our screw mechanism. So it is up. Oh nine is dead. there you go. That's the controls for our trailer. 
so it seems to work uh, pretty well I just need to sort out the, the tractor code so that it knows the commands for the trailer but uh, so far it seems to be pretty good well that's the half pipe trailer finished so if you like that video make sure and give it a thumbs up and if you want to see the trailer in action later make sure and subscribe because I'll be making a video where I update uh, the Fent and update the Massey so that they have the correct code to use with this trailer or to use with any trailer because from now on I'm going to use these commands in all the trailers so that they're exactly the same and I'm going to update those so at some point you'll see this uh, trailer in action behind the tractor so uh, if you have any questions either post them below or on the forum and uh, that's everything for today so thanks very much for watching